to skating two days ago to the children in skate. Oh. He skate and the children in skate. We're at the Eclectic Gallery with Hiroshi Sugimoto, uh, who is a master painter from Japan, and he's one of our visiting artists. And I'd like to ask you, Mr. Sugimoto, yes. about the technique that you've chosen in your paintings. Yes. Could you tell us a little about that? Japanese, yeah. uh, is Silk, on the top of the silk, on the top of the silk, Okay, so it's done over a silk screen using minerals, crushed minerals and gold pigment. You, you grind your own mineral pigments. So are you using lapis lazuli, um, malachite, azurite? Yeah. It's a uh, art supply Japanese. And it's a pigment making from a craftsman. But uh, a choice, uh, we are cho only choice in the paintings. So isn't this the same technique, though, that um, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci yeah, would have yeah. used? Just, uh, Michelangelo it, uh, and uh, da Vinci, it, that's Renaissance age. Yes. It's uh, uh, using uh, egg, egg tempera. Egg tempera. Yeah. We need uh, using uh, glue. It's a uh, uh, fish or animals. Yes. Yeah, uh, kind of... Uh, uh, Gelatino. Gelatin to the Yes. Coagulate. It's a of gelatin. And, and so you're really going, you're using techniques that are hundreds of years old in your, in your paintings. And so your, your work is based on very traditional um, techniques that have been passed down from century to century. Uh, that's Japanese traditional style painting. It's uh, uh, not uh, hundred, it's uh, thousands of years, years old. Yeah, before uh, same techniques yes. using. Yeah. Well, that's for for a Westerner. That's amazing. That that tradition is still continued. It's passed on from generation to generation. Yeah. And one of the things I find so remarkable in this bamboo forest is the texture of the silk and and how smooth the the gold that is um, that you're using 24 karat gold leaf and how do you get such a smooth effect with your gold because I've seen gold leaf and it's often very jagged but yours is completely smooth no. It's a uh, techniques, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a practice. <laughs> <laughs> practice makes yeah, perfect. It's simple as well. It's a uh, and uh, many times and uh, layer, 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 and uh, and uh, it's a uh, and uh, uh, many. Uh, not one time, yes. two times. So, yeah, time. it's it's uh, gold leaf. Yes. And one, and two, and the second time it's a 
one to half. Oh, it overlaps. Yes. yes. And not to uh, make the leaves uh, edge. It's a so, thing. Um, and, and what do you use for your sizing? What adheres the gold to the silk? How do you, how do you make the gold stick to the silk? Yeah, and the paper and the circles, circle and uh, same, but uh, uh, sizing uh, um, called uh, dosa, it's a uh, kind of uh, um, special. Uh, it's a special sizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's painting. Yes. And sizing. And after gold leaf yes. using. Yeah. So, um, hashi. Takebashi. Mm. It's a uh, dosa. Ne? Dosa wa mioban te arium ka? え、と、明板、明板っていうのを使う。アリウムだとあるか、アルミニウムか。明板ってなんていうの明板。明板。いやいや。明板ね。明板。そうね。え、it's um these paintings are magnificent. They're they're so subtle. And the, um, the color, the texture, the colors are, are rich, rich colors because of the pure ground pigments. You know, it's like if you're looking at a Botticelli, this is what you're looking at, you know, but the Japanese Botticelli. And um, Mr. Sugimoto is a master in Japan, and his work is, is in some of the most esteemed collections. And um, I, I understand that you've painted on the ceiling of temples. Yeah, yeah. That's not a common experience among artists, you know, to be invited. Temple's uh, selling and the temple's uh, sliding door and the shrine, shrine sliding doors and the many temple or shrines that almost uh, 10 years drawings and after now in uh, uh, new paintings styles and, and th this time is our old one but a uh, uh, big one is uh, New original styles, drawings. And and do you do you work in calligraphy as well? Do you use um, the this is it sumi the, the yes. inks? And so yeah. do you? I, I think I saw a large calligraphy yeah. drawing that you did. Um, because I I I have heard that calligraphy is the highest form of art of of you know, when the gesture of drawing ha takes on so many meanings, because it's the meaning of the word, it's, it's the feeling of, of, um, of the language itself. Okay. okay. And, and uh, sizing, using sizing, yes. ah. and the uh, layer on the gold ring. Yes, yes. Well, it's beautiful techniques. So um, I, I'd like thank you so much for, yeah. for explaining that to us. And I'd like to talk to uh, Yoichi Nagakura. Nag Nagakura? Yes. And um, if, if we could look at uh, some of your paintings, um, you explained something to me, uh, for instance, in this painting of the cat. Can you tell us uh, what these symbols represent? Uh, と形からあの絵を描きたいと思って、それでそれを描きながら日本のなんかしつじゅんな空気をあの絵で表現したいと思いながらま描いています。so he draws inspiration from kanji, which are the Japanese characters. Um, and so he first looks at the meaning and the shapes of the Japanese characters and then draws around that to create sort of the traditional atmosphere, Japanese atmosphere. And, and one of the things that, um, that uh, Yoichi told me that this symbol represents animal and, and this symbol is the sound of that animal and together they represent the cat. 
the whole picture. And so I think, I find it, you know, very fascinating that you're including words and pictures together. You're, you're combining on a very subtle level the meaning of the, of the, uh, the subject within the art itself. And similarly with um, the one of the frog, so the, the kanji symbol is for rain, and the rain is falling on the frog. And uh, it, it's a beautiful um, metaphor. It's, it's, it's a poem within the painting itself. And uh, again, he's using the, the ground pigments. So the green is malachite that he's ground up. And uh, I, I'm, I, I very much admire uh, that you follow these traditions and that you have the patience to, to grind your own paints and, and to create your work. They're very beautiful. Thank you very much. So um, the third artist that is visiting, uh, his name is Junpei Maeta. And um, he's a printmaker, and he works in lithography. And um, the, the subject, though, is, is very poetic. It, it has a lot of depth and meaning to, the, to his subject. I, I particularly love this one that is titled Boats into Sands. And, and you have the... the, the um, the tension between these two forms and, and also the movement. Um, can you explain a little bit about his work to us? あ、彼はあの、今日帰ってしまったんですけれど、え、リトグラフを専門にえ、やってる版画家です。で、あの、今までの作品のいろんなタイプの、え、作品を今回は持ってきてくれました。so he uses. I don't know if that was in English. It's lithography. Lithography, yeah. So that's basically what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. So, and he's using a metal plate lithography, so he's drawing onto the metal plate. Um, they're, they're quite. Uh, to me, they're very, they're very evocative and very moving images. This one with the blind house, I find. Uh, very subtle, and and it has a, a it, it. You're seeing this house at night, and and the two eyes are just kind of looking out, and but it's seeing into the dark, and so the reference of it being a blind house, I think, is is also, you know, an interesting play on the words. Well, thank you very much for for uh, also for our interpreter, um, and we we greatly appreciate you all coming to Eclectic Gallery. Um, and I I'm sorry that the show is here for such a short time, but we we're honored to have had your work here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many years, and I have one song.